So I have a story to tell about a new monitor that I have, a story of completion to my Samsung Dex setup here in my studio. As you know, I've been using Samsung Dex for years and it's been a great compliment to my studio. Look, I've been working on different setups, different monitors, using three or four monitors on Samsung Dex and stuff like that to try to make my workflow easier. Look, I think I've found my complete setup here. One of the most important things and one of the most important sections in my studio is my editing desk where I edit all my videos, play all my games, do all I mean, everything on my editing desk. I call it my Samsung Deck Station. On my Samsung Deck Station, I have the Tab S8 Plus and the Galaxy Z Fold 4, and I've been using them in Dex as a full flash computer, and it's been working great so far. Look, I've been using Samsung Deck for years. I've mastered Samsung Decks to the fullest. Well, I've been on a quest to find the best monitor that's big enough, has a high resolution, also has high res refresh rate for playing games, and have enough ports if I want to connect multiple computers. Also, a monitor that doesn't break the bank. Well, I believe I solved that problem. Look, I have the new 2023 Innocent 27-inch Quad HD 240 hertz monitor. And oh boy, I really like this monitor. Listen, me as a tech reviewer and a tech enthusiast, name brand is not my concern. I only worry about better bang for your buck. So when I look at monitors, it's not about the name brand. I look at what it can bring to the table. And one of my main monitors that I use right now for my teleprompter, live streaming, edit some videos, voice calls, and stuff like that has been an innocent 24 inch monitor. And I absolutely love the color accuracy and the way it, it, it just a nice, beautiful monitor. So it was a no brainer looking at the quality of that monitor and when Innocent came out with their new 2023 monitor, 27 inches with the sweet spot for me, I had to get this monitor. So let's talk about the unboxing experience though. This monitor comes complete with a visa mount, with adjustable stand, a 27 inch monitor itself, obviously, right? It comes with a display cable, which is great because if you wanna get the best, the highest refresh rate of 240 hertz, right? Use the display port. Now it does have HDMI ports and uh, you can get up to 144 hertz using HDMI, which is not bad itself. But when we talk about ports itself, this is what I like. Two display ports, two HDMI ports, a audio out port and a DC out for power. So this monitor has a lot of key ports that I was looking for. Also it has some of the key specs that I like. It has HDR10 with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Listen, I'm old school. I like 16 by nine aspect ratios. It has 99% of sRGB color gamut and it has a fast VA panel display on it. This monitor has one millisecond response time with G-Sync, yes right. It has G-Sync compatibility with low latency and a tear-free experience for gaming, which is really nice for gamers. Now, as far as the price, this monitor will set you back $470, which I will leave those links down in the description below. Look, I will mainly be using this monitor for Samsung Dex, editing videos, editing photos with color correction, plus doing some gaming at high refresh rates. Look, looking at the monitor itself, it does bring you some good style and stuff like that with minimum bezels. Also it has two RGB lights in the front and a beautiful RGB light in the back, which is really good. One of the great things about this monitor is the stand itself. It brings in some nice functionality, which is you can lower and up, you can go up and down to bring your monitor up and down to fit your needs. 
which is really nice. Also, you could pivot the monitor 90 degrees if you need that also. And this stand allows you to tilt this monitor up and down and swivel it from left to right. Not only that, but it does have a secret spot where you could take off the back where you could organize your cables to give it that stealth look. But another unique feature about the, this stand, it has a latch for holding your gaming headphones, which is really nice. So my thoughts about this monitor, I've been using it for about a week now. And one thing that I had to do when I first got this monitor, and I would encourage anybody that buy this monitor, you want to go into your settings, turn on high refresh mode, right? And do some tweaks with your settings to get the best gaming settings and the best possible settings that you can. Now, this monitor is bright enough in a room scenario like this. And the only thing I do want to mention is a button on the back, right? Uh, it's a bit of a learning curve, and I had to figure this out on my own, obviously, right? Uh, the navigating with this button on the back, you know how when you have these buttons on the back, if you want to select something and you get to the point where you need to click on it and you push in? Well, you don't do that with this monitor. If you click in, it will shut the monitor off. You have to push to the side to, to select the items that you want. Look, using it for about a week, uh, again, I had to learn that part, which is fine after you learn it. Now I have three computers set up to this monitor. I have a, the Mac Studio, a Windows PC, and I have my Samsung Deck setup. Now, my Samsung Deck setup is something I use 90% of the time, but switching them is very easy. It's one click away to go to uh, each mode. I wish that this monitor had a remote for a bit of convenience, but you know what, that's okay. Playing games was a very good experience overall. I did notice a very good experience playing Steam games at very high frame rates. Also playing Xbox Game Pass was very good here on this monitor. I want you to think about this. This entire video was edited on Samsung Dex and I was overall impressed on how the footage looked using this monitor. Now I'm ready to create. Now I'm ready to edit. Now I'm ready to play games with this new Dex setup here. You know what? That's my story. That's my story of this new monitor and my experience so far with my deck setup here, right? If you are interested in this monitor, I will leave all the links down in the description below if you want to check it out. But overall, I do like the 240 hertz display here that this uh, monitor brings to the table. And for the price at 400 plus bucks, not bad for a 2K display, high frame rates, and the complete package that you get with this monitor. So I will leave all the links down in the description below. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.